But how are first responders preparing? Well, and Marine National Guard troops and rescue crews in high water vehicles are now taking up positions around the state as Louisiana braces for this arrival of the storm either tonight or tomorrow morning. As for how big of an impact it will have, we're still a few hours away from knowing for sure. The outer bands of Tropical Storm Barry are now lapping at the edge of the Louisiana coast. The storm's arrival signaled the start of what could be a calamitous weekend in the region. This is a very significant severe weather event. Um, and the National Weather Service, are, they're using terms like life threatening floods. Barry is a slow moving system that will almost certainly deliver a deluge of water to the area. As much as 25 inches of rain could fall in some places. There are three ways Louisiana floods. Storm surge, high rivers, and rain. We're going to have all three. The Army Corps of Engineers believes the flooded Mississippi will remain contained by the 20-foot levees that protect New Orleans. Still, officials warn there are limits to what the levees and water pumps can do. We cannot pump our way out of the water levels and the waterfalls that are expected to hit the city of New Orleans. We need you to understand this and again, be prepared to shelter in place. Some residents are taking no chances with this storm. You bring flashlights and, uh, uh, and good batteries and stuff like that. Because that's the routine. This area right here, we always, we always got to evacuate. That man said no matter what damage Barry inflicts on his home, he'll return because it's the only place he's ever lived. And late last night, President Trump declared a federal declaration of emergency for Louisiana. People in the area are being reminded to keep at least three days of supplies on hand. So we're talking about things like batteries, water, and, of course, food. Anne-Marie. All good advice. Mark Liverman in New York. Thank you, Mark.